Move over, XAI. There's a new energy hog moving into Memphis. Thanks for joining us on Action News 5 and 10. I'm Joy Redmond. Joe has the night off. The Bluff City is getting its first Bitcoin mining facility, and critics are worried. Bitcoin, digital currency, requires enormous amounts of electricity and water to produce. Action News 5's Joyce Peterson live now with concerns uh, from lawmakers and environmentalists. Joyce. Yeah, Joy, the irony is not lost on me that literally on the same day, a squirrel knocked out power to 10,000 MLGW customers, including my household. I'm doing a story about the reliability of the grid. Crypto mining companies are setting up shop all across the country. They're now eyeing Tennessee and the city of Memphis. And as an MLGW customer, every time I see the CEO now, I have questions. Memphis's first cryptocurrency mining facility under construction right now in southeast Memphis, 4545 South Mendenhall. Bitcoin mining company Merkel Standard has a contract with MLGW to use 30 to 40 megawatts of power during off-peak times. On-peak, 5 megawatts of power. 40 megawatts is enough to power tens of thousands of homes. They made a reasonable request. As you know, I cannot unreasonably withhold power from a company who asks for it. And there is still capacity in that substation to serve other customers. Just like Elon Musk's XAI supercomputer being built in southwest Memphis, critics worry about crypto mining's impact on the MLGW power grid and on the environment. And we're trying to come up and see what we can do that will allow us to have reasonable regulations to make sure as these things come in, A, they don't drop the grid, but B, they're the most environmentally friendly possible. The Tennessee chapter of the Sierra Club objected to the crypto mine facility. The large demand for electricity, wrote conservation director Scott Banbury, will place an enormous burden on MLGW's ability to supply electricity to all its customers and likely requires additional generating capacity and subsequent air pollution impacts. Merkel Standard, just like XAI, is required to sign contracts with MLGW, joining the Demand Response Program, agreeing to power down when the grid is stressed by hot or cold weather or another emergency. MLGW customers, says the utility CEO, are the first priority. Do MLGW customers have any reason to be concerned when you hear two businesses that suck up the most electricity are going to operate in Shelby County? I don't believe there's any reason to be concerned because our job is to make sure, like I said before, that we don't hazard your access to power and availability of power or the reliability of your power. All right, and a quick update on XAI's supercomputer. McGowan said MLGW is providing 50 megawatts of power for that facility, but XAI, you may recall, needs 150 megawatts of power. The company now negotiating with TVA. A spokesperson with TVA says they are still talking. If the TVA board greenlights those contracts, then XAI will have to build its own substation here in Memphis. We will keep you posted. Reporting live tonight, Joyce Peterson, Action News 5.